welcome to May is Wetlands Month, week four. Today we're going to be taking a tour of the Upper Tampa Bay Park. Um, the dominant uh, wetland habitats that we'll see today are mangrove forest and salt marsh areas. Uh, my name is Dessa and I'll be your tour guide today. So here I'll show you where we're going to uh, take a walk today and um, this is a map of the area. We're going to start here along the boardwalk that runs along Double Branch Creek coming down through here. This is where we'll look at some mangroves and then we'll come down through here to the salt marsh and look at a salt turn, salt barren area. Here we are out at the boardwalk of Upper Tampa Bay Park. Um, this morning it's very low tide so we can um, smell the sulfur um, from the exposed soil. You can also see that we have the oyster beds exposed here during low tide. Um, so you can get, get a great visual of um, how they've accumulated sediment to kind of make their own little um, bed that kind of raises them up when it's low tide. We can see an oyster bed. Um, and oysters are filter feeders, so they help to clean the water. They also provide great habitat um, for fish and, and young fish as well here in the estuary. They also trap sediment, which in turn provides more habitat when mangroves begin to root within the sediment. Here you can see a propagule starting to latch on to the sediment and hopefully grow. So here we have red mangroves, um, Rhizophora mangle. Um, you can um, determine or identify the red mangroves by the dark waxy green leaves that are elliptical in shape. The most defining aspect of a red mangrove are their drop and prop roots that hold them upright in the substrate and help to breathe in anoxic soils. This is a good example of the drop roots coming from the branches of the red mangrove. These are the seeds of the red mangrove they are viviparous, um, called propagules. Um, basically, this means that they're fully mature um, plants before they drop off of, off of the tree. So once they find substrate, they will begin to grow. Here we have an area dominated by white mangroves, Ligoncularia racemosa. The leaves of the white mangrove are more yellow, green, um, and rounded. Here's a closer up of a white mangrove leaf. You can see that the um, tip right here has a little notch in the tip of the leaf. And down here at the base, you can see the two glands on either side. And these are called nectaries. They secrete a sweet smelling um, attractor for pollinators. Here we have a black mangrove, Avicinia germinans. These leaves um, are distinctive by the salt excreted on the front, which make them, you know, a little a little shiny, as well as the, the back of the leaves are silver. When we look towards the ground, you can see the uh, root projections known as pneumatophores. These provide oxygen to the underground roots. The black mangrove leaf is more linear with a tip at the apex. You can see the salt excreted on the front of the leaf, making it shiny. And the back of the leaf is silvery, dusty. These are the pneumatophores of the black mangrove. There are also some seedlings down here. Here we're looking at a close-up of a black mangrove 
pneumatophore. You can see the lenticels here, the little white speckles along here. Um, these are enlarged pores that allow for gas exchange to the plant. Here's another good view of the black mangrove root systems. So underground, imagine a horizontal root projecting out. And then we have our pneumatophores, their finger-like projections coming up out of the ground. This is buttonwood, Conocarpus erectus. Some consider it the fourth mangrove. However, it is not protected by statute. It is located highest in elevation from the other mangroves. This area is called a salt barren or salt turn and it often forms in areas of the salt marsh where slight depressions exist. These areas form just above the highest high tides of the marsh where only the occasional storm event will push the tide high enough. The salty tidal water pools inside the depressions. When the water evaporates, the salt is left behind. Due to the lack of flushing, the salt continues to accumulate. Here's a good example of the accumulation of the salt. You can see the difference kind of in the coloration. It's hypersaline soils where plants cannot survive. So this area is left barren. Here we have saltwort, Vadis maritima, creeping out. Here is a red carpet of sea purslane, Sesuvium portolocastrum. There's another common succulent creeping plant. Here is a stand of a rush called needle, black needle rush, Juncus romarianus. It is a very prominent species within the salt marsh. Here mixed in with our mangrove saplings and black mangrove pneumatophores, we have a succulent called glasswort or salicornia. Here we have some fiddler crab burrows. Fiddler crabs are semi-terrestrial. They do require water to survive, to, to breathe. All of these little balls are the results of their feeding habits where they filter the nutrients out of the sand and leave these little balls behind outside of their their burrows. Filler crabs are also a common indicator of the presence of wetlands because they are aquatic fauna which do require water to survive for a portion of their life cycle. We're here at a little tidal pool where we found some raccoon tracks was likely using this tidal pool for fishing, eating. There's our snail moving along the substrate, leaving its trail behind. Here we can see some gastropods and the remnants of their trails from when this area is inundated. Thank you for joining us for our American Wetlands Month video tour series, where we brought you a taste of the natural treasures that can be found right here in Hillsborough County. We hope this series has inspired you to go explore nature and the outdoors, enjoy local wetland wonders, and celebrate the benefits of the clean air and water. To start your adventure today, visit hillsboroughcounty.org 
and search Find a Park. You may also visit epchc.org to learn more about the work EPC performs to protect our local natural resources and quality of life in Hillsborough County. See you next year!